folks, it's uh, Jim here with the world famous Doug Jones. World famous. Hey, yeah. Well, well you are kind of cinema, cinema auteur, as it were. I mean, you've been all over the world doing movies, so. You know, I, I have filmed all over the world, yeah. yes. But I don't know if the world knows about me yet. I don't know about that one. Because oh, no. they generally don't get to see your real face all the time. This is it, unfortunately. Yep. I'm sorry for you. Uh, don't worry, no one's running and screaming out here. Okay. Uh, now, you started uh, long started out a long time ago, uh, but one of the things I've heard you're able to do is that you're a contortionist. Yes. Yes. So He's read up on me. This is dangerous. Exactly. What else do you know? Yeah. I know quite a few things, Mr. Jones, but I won't uh, reveal them to the world. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> Um, but uh, apparently you were on the Weird Al show as contortionist number one. I was indeed. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, I only found that out through Al himself, so... Really? Yeah. Met him a couple weeks ago. You did? Yeah. And what did he say about me? I was actually talking about meeting you at this show, and while well, coming to the show to meet you, and he's like, wow, he worked with me on the uh, Weird Al show, and... Weird, Weird Al remembered that? Yeah. Yeah. Your kid, or that Weird Al, if you're watching this, I hope you're watching this. Uh, uh, thank you. My gosh, that was 185 years ago. Exactly. And I worked with him for one. We did all five of my episodes in one day. Yep. And I, I'm flabbergasted that he remembers me. Bless he, you. He has a or He has one of those memories that's like instantaneous. He can remember places and things okay. from years ago. That's just one of those things. Oh, that's awesome. But, um, all right. Um, let's go to question number two, though. Yes. Um, now, I myself also have worked a lot of movies where I've been in makeup. Uh-huh. Um, now, zombies, I really... I think, right? Yeah. yeah. I've, yeah. I've done five zombie films. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, I, mean, I hate being in the chair for like five or six hours. What do you do when you're in the chair to relax while they're working on your makeup? Yeah. I go to my happy place. Yeah. Happy yeah. place? Yeah. What's in your happy place? My happy place, my favorite happy place, is uh, a hammock on a beach <laughs> with something, a uh, coconut and a straw and an umbrella. Yeah. And a warm breeze. <laughs> I, 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 that's my image. I go okay. to. But uh, I, I, I zombie out pretty, pretty easily in my head. Okay. I, uh, I sometimes I'll take a nap. Yeah. If, it's, if they're working on a part of me that I can lean back, and fall asleep, I definitely will. I have done that yeah. twice. If it's a full body makeup where I have to stand up and help participate with turning and be like, oh, you got that? Well, I actually uh, have not done full body makeup yet. I thank God for that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's always coming. But, oh, yeah. uh, but I, I, we put on music, we put on, yeah. if there's an internet connection, we'll have the YouTube videos going. And oh, look at this funny cat video. Yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah. They kept on bringing me milkshakes during uh, Donald Trump. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was kind of nice. I got my snack. Yeah. Exactly. Anything with a straw on yeah. your makeup is good. It's good. Uh, so. Okay, so third question. Yes. Out of all the characters you've done, do you have a particular favorite that you've played? I get asked this a lot, and, uh-huh. uh, but, I, but it's, a, it's, a, it's a lovely question because it's a lovely answer for me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm beholden to my ape sapien from Hellboy. Okay. Uh, because we've been through a lot together. Hellboy 1 yeah. and 2, the animated features, yeah. and a video game. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I feel very, very connected to him now. Okay. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> connected to him. Yeah, I do. Um, but no, mind you, yeah. the, font, the font from Pan's Labyrinth is a close second. And, uh, and that the, was some amazing work. Yeah, Pan's Labyrinth, the movie, is probably my favorite film I've ever worked on as a piece of art. I, can't, like, I, I cannot such. watch that film without crying every I single me time. Me either. I know. Then, a, then again, I also cringe when the needles come out. But, but other that's people, a whole needle phobia thing. Bless you. So. Yeah, I know. Uh, but I also love the Silver Surfer character. Yeah. I love uh, I love my gentleman character from the Buffy the Vampire yeah. Slayer series. I love uh, I love Hocus Pocus. I love my uh, Billy Butcherson character, the zombie. Anything I play, I like I like to connect with any character that I play, and I end up liking okay. all of them. But uh, yeah, Abe, Abe's the favorite. Okay. If you could play any character from anything, in, yeah, pretty much. What would what would be the ultimate thing you want to play? Another answer I've given a couple of times. I know. Which is, I would love to play an angel. Okay. And I've already played the angel of death yeah. in Hellboy 2, yeah. but that was more of a dark, sinister, creepy, yet beautiful yeah. angel. Uh, I would like to play a beautiful, white-winged, benevolent angel sent from heaven to hell. 
Huh. That's what I want. And maybe a one who sings. Hey, hey, let's put music in there. Why not? Why not? Uh, yeah, that's, that would be an ultimate. Musicals are always fun. I, I've never been in a book. I worked I, as an extra on Chicago. That was a lot of fun. We were talking about musicals. Oh, Chicago. The musical. I thought it was the TV show. No, no, wow, no. I'm old. That's a whole series. You don't know about that. Anyway. Anyway, uh, what were they saying? I don't know. Musicals, yeah. Uh, I was just in a, in a short musical, uh, a 20 minute film called Sudden Death. And it is going to be the funniest, best musical ever in the world. And it's only 20 minutes. They're going to make a feature film out of it, I hope, one day. And they'll bring me back, I sure hope. Oh, gosh. Anyway, so look for Sudden Death. If you look, Google Sudden Death on the Webernet. And if you're watching this, you're probably on the Webernet. So uh, uh, open up another window and look for Sudden Death and, and see what comes up. Sudden Death Doug Jones, maybe that'll get you a more specific search. And uh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's funny. Oh my gosh, it's funny. What's funny? Sudden Death. Really? Funny, funny story, funny yeah, no. I'll have to watch it when I get Oh my gosh. But it's a, here, Sudden Death, the premise. Yeah. A disease has broken out in Los Angeles, California, and it brings people to their death, suddenly. But the, the symptoms of it coming on are that you break out into song spontaneously. Just like that Buffy episode. So that's why it's a musical, because everybody starts singing, like, you know, out of nowhere. It's like, oh, I'm singing, I'm singing my thoughts out loud, and you're hearing them. So, that, no, it's hilarious. Yeah. Okay, um, oh, there you go. now you've worked with uh, Guillermo del Toro quite a bit. Guillermo del Toro, yes. Yeah. Um, Love him. Can you tell us anything possibly about The Hobbit? Or the I, I can't, I don't know no? anything about that. Okay. Right. I know the book, it's a great book. It is a great book, And it yes. will make a great couple of movies yes. if, they're, if they're talking. If the rumors on the web are not true about Hellboy or uh, Hobbit 1 and 2, then yes, it's going to be a great couple of movies. Yep. Uh, but as far as me working on the film, it's been rumored for a couple years that I've been yeah, filming. Yeah, yeah. uh, but that we can never know until the actual thing comes out. Well, the schedule keeps getting pushed back. Apparently, yeah. according to the Webernet, I know have no. I, I'm not an authority figure. No one's never called me directly. Never trust the Webernet. No one's called me directly. But all I do is I read what you read on the Webernet, and uh, and I'm hearing. Uh, Pushed back from March to July, and now maybe September. That's yeah. what I keep hearing. So I don't know. Now it's 3D. Now and, it's 2D. But I'll tell you what. Until they, until they, until they cinch down a schedule, yeah. they're not going to commit to any actors. So, uh, so no one's going to hear about it until they have a, a, a green light schedule from the studio. Yeah. And uh, apparently they don't yet. Uh, so, so that's uh, apparently. That's what I'm saying. I don't know for sure. Don't take my word for it. Don't quote me ever. But uh, uh, yeah, because I, I don't know Jack what I'm talking about. Okay. Final question. Yes. This one's kind of a metaphysical question. Oh, okay. Um, if you were able to go back in time Ooh. and work on any film from the last hundred years, oh, what great. would you want to work on? Now that's a good question. Okay, if there's any TV journalists out there, that's a good question. <laughs> I try. I try. hundred years. Yeah. How many freaking movies, right? Oh, well, exactly. Greece. I wish I could go back in time to 1978 <laughs> and be in Greece. Would you be Travolta's character? Uh, no. No? Uh, Who would you be? I'm not. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to be the hot guy that gets the chick. No. Uh, I would like to be one of his cohorts. Ah, I want to have a solo, though. I want to have a solo. I want to <laughs> sing. Maybe, maybe, oh, maybe if I could have done the Frankie Avalon uh, uh, cameo okay. when he sang uh, the Beauty School Dropout song. Ah, Beauty School Dropout. dropout. Do, do, do. No graduation <laughs> day for you. Beauty School, School Dropout. dropout. Da, da, da. Ah! Uh, thank you. That's a good Broadway. Question. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you very much, Doug Jones. Come here. Give me some. All right. Oh, pre it's precious. It's precious. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Big love. Bye. Bye.